Do you want to do a overview of the front or just, just kind of take off from here? We can splice it all together. We can, uh, yeah, I'll splice anything together. Yeah, so if yeah. You go out yeah, let's, let's start out front. I'll okay. My hat on. I don't know if we get the uh, sign in there or not. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, we'll start it, start it all off here. Yeah. <laughs> my best friends uh, when I was around 20 years old and I'm about 60 now 40 years ago he asked me how long this is gonna last and I said well definitely five years but maybe ten at the most and, and that's you know 40 years ago my dad had a repair shop you know when I was just a little kid and when I was 12 years old my dad had a mechanic named uh, uh, Willie and he had a 66 Bronco and he was into hunting and fishing and he let me tag along and we'd go four wheeling in his old Bronco and he had an old 66 Bronco and I just loved it. So, you know, four years later when I turned 16, I got my own Bronco and I think I was roughly around 18 and I was over in Eastern Oregon on a hunting trip and I went around a corner really fast in gravel and I rolled it and it was still drivable. We tipped it back over, drove it home. And so I bought another Bronco for parts and I was gonna put those parts on my Bronco. And I did that, and then I went ahead and advertised the rest of the parts. And uh, boy, they went really fast. And uh, that's when I was 18, you know, 19. And then that's kind of when we started the business behind my dad's house. Uh, my dad's uh, name was Rusty. And uh, geez, when we started this about 40 years ago, I was buying lots of Broncos. And then uh, we had a little shop in my dad's backyard. And after about four years, the neighbors complained so much about all the Broncos, the city came down on us and said, hey, you guys have to move. And you know, that was kind of scary because we had zero rent behind my dad's house. And so we went over to the shop that we had for 30 years. We, uh, we just moved here about three years ago from our other location. And this is, uh, this is our shop. It's not a real big shop because we, we don't work on a lot, of, a lot of the Broncos. We will work on a, you know, one or two at a time, but it's, uh, you know, the mail order side is just so much busier. Two mechanics that kind of, you know, work on this bench during the day. And, uh, and then back here, we've got a little office for the mechanics and talking to customers. You know, we do a lot of tech calls. You know, we're one of the few Bronco shops that, you know, have a tech department. So that's really good for business to help customers. This is some of the assembly, you know, small parts, you know, just little kits and stuff that we put together. and you know, ring and pinions and lockers and brake lines. It's just, uh, it's just hard to believe, you know, how crazy, <laughs> how many parts you gotta have to keep everything going, <laughs> Yeah, We try to have everything kind of bumper to bumper, you know, if somebody wants, uh, you know, a drive line to, uh, you know, a, a clamp or, you know, a windshield or, you know, whatever you, you might find, you know, we try to have everything and just got it up to the rafters, you know, just stocked up and, and uh, you know, all the parts, you know, different things and let me see if uh, some of the other lights pop on here we normally would have some uh, extra Broncos little this little crowded after our show we were this was our staging area yeah. getting everything yeah. out but but anyway just kind of gives you an idea but here's a lot of our used parts you know used transmissions rear ends because we do rebuild a lot of three-speed transmissions in the transfer cases. Well, when we started uh, over 30 years ago, it was ma mainly used parts. You know, I bought and sold a lot of wreck Broncos and parted them out. Didn't do a lot of new parts, you know, but that was over 30 years ago, and you could find lots of Bronco parts, you know. So that's where I started is just, uh, you know, getting a lot of used parts. But then the used parts started drying up. That's when we went into the new parts, and then, you know, the we started a, you know, a nice catalog that we'd mail out to our customers and that brought in a lot of business from the United States. But you know, kind of what blew up was maybe you know, 15 years ago, the internet. You know, I was probably one of the last Bronco dealers to get on the internet, kind of old school. And you know, once we got you know, on the internet and got our name out there, it's uh, you know, really exploded. I think we walked by some uh, brake pedals and clutch assembly pedals. So when we do get a Bronco, you know, we don't throw anything away because, you know, you just never know when that part becomes popular. Uh, here it 
today we've got our uh, kind of open house. Uh, it's the uh, rock and roll show for the uh, shop, kind of a customer appreciation week. And we did a big trail ride over towards the Oregon coast, you know, Cape Junction, uh, you know, yesterday. And then today we're gonna do some uh, wine vineyards and then we're gonna have a big uh, dinner, you know, at the end of the day. So uh, I think we've got maybe about 50 Broncos, you know, here today. Uh, some from Utah and Nevada, California, so from all over the place. parking lot you know we've I just met a guy who's 16 year old son you know they just bought a used Bronco and then I have talking to one guy uh, Carl Anderson out there he's almost 80 years old and I've been dealing with him for like 30 years and you know he's given his Bronco to his grandson and there's been so many people that have had an uncle or somebody had a Bronco 20 30 years ago and they just you know they got it in their blood the Bronco customers not because we're Tom's Bronco parts were always really nice, easy to deal with. They really cared about their vehicle, and uh, it's it's uh, it's the the community of the Bronco people. They just uh, you know I, I think they're the cream of the crop, you know. Uh, but been very fortunate. The Bronco customers are just super neat people. 